Okay, well, today... We've got a new look, new cameras, uh, new arms. It's interesting, they even have articulated joints and things in here. And, so, let's try Lone Echo. Where we get to inhabit another body. Uh, well, um, in a matter of speaking. Hera, over the new voice log entry. Acknowledged. Recording. Okay. This is Captain Liv Rhodes. Personal log entry for 7 of October 2126. This will be my final week aboard Kronos 2. In just a few days, I'll be leaving Saturn behind and making my way to my new assignment on Ceres. A bit odd, actually, saying it out loud. Okay. Now, this is just a fascinating area here, this whole atmosphere, but look at this. Anyway, now, look at my arms, you know. mining sites are running smoothly. Overnight harvest totals are... A bit lower than I'd like. Oh, we had some sputtering on the number 12 hours. The detail that they went Jack. through, I mean, you can... Oh, Jack. Good. Hold on a tick. Hera, pause recording. Acknowledged, Captain Rhodes. Morning, sunshine. And how are we feeling today? Jack, are you with me? Hera, let's go ahead and run Jack's calibration program. Acknowledged. This, right. um, basically a <laughs> personality has been put into a robotic body. Module D221, manual dexterity. And now I'm in, she put me back into a training module. Okay. Your echo unit is a perfect subject for our initial test runs. This is crap. I'm one week from leaving, and you're just now telling me Jack's not coming. Command wants the echo unit to assume your duties when you leave for Ceres. Well, how long has Command known about this? Liv, uh, I don't think. How long? Higher ups have been discussing it for maybe six months. Six months? Jack? Sorry, I have to go. Kronos 2 out. Okay. Jack, what happened? My calibration program crashed. I appear to be stuck in the activation pod. That's odd. Your diagnostic programs never just flat out crashed before. It must have suspended the pod's release procedures. In the event of activation pod failure, Titan Protocol recommends performing a complete power cycle of the pod, followed by a level 3 inspection of... You're all set. Listen, about my conversation with Command, how much did you overhear? I heard enough to know I'm no longer going with you to Ceres. Seems you've earned yourself a promotion. The directors want you to take over my duties as station commander. You'll be in charge. That would make this our last week together. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Look, I... They just... hit me with this news a few minutes ago. I mean, come on, splitting us up. I, I never even considered it a possibility. I'm not entirely sure what to say. Except... I'm sorry, Jack. There's no need to apologize, Olivia. While the situation is... unfortunate, it's not your fault. Come on, then. No sense putting it off. Let's get our last week started. 
Why don't you go activate the bridge while I pull the overnights? Copy that. Transitioning to daytime cycle. Whoa. <laughs> I'm really going to miss this part. No room with a view here. I'll get started on the morning checklist in a bit. Just give me a moment to soak in this view. Take your time. Nuts. Yes, Jack? Oh. Oh. A personal space, Jack. Okay. So, Jack. Enough sexual harassment for the day. Are in order. For what? For your promotion. There's really no need for that. Come on now, it's a big deal. In a few days, you'll be Captain Jack. So, congratulations, Captain Jack. What I mean is, as an Echo unit, I hold no official rank. So, technically, I can't be promoted. Right. Well, that's too bad. Captain Jack has quite the ring to it. Also, you are the only person who calls me Jack. To everyone else, I am merely Echo One. Is that your way of saying you're going to miss me? I have no... What was that? Jack, did you feel that? What the hell? P please tell me you can see that. Affirmative. I see it. Any idea what it is? I'm afraid not. There are no records of any such phenomenon in the Atlas Interplanetary Database. It is an anomaly. What the... Jack, are you alright? I believe so. You were glitching out. The disturbance briefly disrupted my internal systems, but I'm not reading any permanent damage. Liv, it's possible that anomaly is not entirely stable. You think? Priority alert. The hollow table. Something's wrong. I'll investigate. Hera, initiate broad spectrum scan. Focus on the following coordinates. Okay, let's see what the hollow table is here. Hera, status report. Multiple tier one malfunctions detected. Isolate and identify. Acknowledged. Isolating. 
awaiting input. Saturn Orbital Zone Beta. Orbital Mining Facility. Designation, Kronos 2. Central Mining Station. Malfunctions isolated. That is a lot of red. Perhaps it's not as bad as it looks. Ground fault recorded in the cargo bay. Possible circuit overload. Reading marked temperature increase in the core containment chamber. Lockdown procedures in effect. Power failure reported in primary oxygen garden. Emergency failsafes triggered. What, that's it? That's all we've got to go on? Hera, can you give us an in-depth scan of each affected area? Negative. Unable to establish communication with cube satellites. Wait. We lost the CubeSats? How the hell did we... Ah, forget it. Let's just have a look for ourselves. Where are you, you little bugger? Ah, here we are. Jack, could you do us a favor and scan this CubeSat? I'll need to calibrate my scanner first. Stand by. It'll only be a moment. Please initiate manual input on your ARM computer. All set? Scanner fully calibrated. Heads up. Give that CubeSat a scan. See if you can work out what's wrong with it. Scan complete. Right. Well, what's the story? According to these readings, something was disrupting the CubeSat's ability to communicate with the rest of the sensor network. Was? My scanner appears to have reset the CubeSat's transmitters and restored the connection. Oh, well, problem solved. All you have to do is find and scan every last CubeSat we have scattered across the entire facility. Sounds like fun. Oh, of course, it would to you. I'll send an objective to your ARM computer, but consider it low priority for now. Objective received. Right then, on to the real problems. What do you think? What's next? Hera's scan of the anomaly will likely take some time. Perhaps we should get started on repairing those malfunctions. Good idea. That anomaly's certainly given us plenty to do. I count three tier one malfunctions that need our attention. I'll need a few minutes to pull today's command codes off my console. You can just keep yourself occupied till then, I'm sure. Of course. Ready to go? Yes, let's get started. Great. Not the best way to start our last week. I don't believe we've ever seen this many malfunctions all at the same time. Of course, we've never had an unidentified spatial anomaly just magically appear right off our port bow, either. So it's kind of a day of first. Really. An encrypted audio file. Curious. When the anomaly scrambled the CubeSat, it inadvertently connected them to a secure Atlas Corporation network. If I scan more of them, I may be able to crack the encryption.
What the? Warning. Unsecured cargo in the hold. Yeah, that much I worked out. Can you tell me why we have unsecured cargo in the hold? Negative. Okay, well, we might want to look into that. All right, Jack. Looks like there's a lot to do this morning. Any priority alerts? Well, it'll be your station soon. What problem do you want to tackle first? Send the data to my ARM computer. I'll have a look. I need to open my ARM computer. Let's see. Take a look at your objectives on your ARM computer and let me know which one you want to address first. Let's fix the power failure in the oxygen garden. Okay, follow me. I'm starting to crack the encryption. If I find more CubeSats, I should be able to save the completed audio file to my ARM computer. That will let me share any files I find with Liv once I've gathered enough information. Looks like the power failure knocked out the door to the oxygen garden. I'll pull the manual release. And of course, the access panel is stuck. Jack, I think you're going to have to cut through. I'll need to calibrate my reactive cutter first. Right. Considering the power outage, let's also calibrate your entry light. Reactive cutter and headlamp calibrated successfully. Copy that. Cut through the access panel so we can pull the door release handle. Excellent, follow me. Let's get started. Careful! Hmm. Hope you're not afraid of the dark. Can you use your headlamp to help me find the electrical grid maintenance panel? Affirmative. Olivia, I've located the maintenance panel. Perfect. Keep your light on it for a moment while I remove the cover. It looks like we've got some fused wiring. Status report? The short caused a full system crash. We'll need to reset each of the environmental controls. Can you find the emergency junction while I sort out this mess? I've reached the junction cover. Did you bring a spanner? Just cut through the bolts. We can deal with the cleanup after we figure out what's wrong with the station. Affirmative. Going hot. Electronic interface. I'll need to use my scanner to link up with the I.O. port. Emergency power online. The backup conduit only has enough juice to diagnose one system at a time. Go ahead and get started when you're ready.
The O2 mixture is off. I'll need to adjust the levels of atmospheric exchange. Careful with that, Jack. One of us still has to breathe the air here for the next few days. I'll need to redirect power from the junction first. The alert must have shut down water flow to the hydroponic systems. <laughs> 